question, then it's somebody who's a lefty uh, doing a super chat. So I have to, I think it was $5. Mitch, Mitch asked this. He says, your precious free market delayed my flight for nearly three hours last night. Nationalized air travel. Um, yeah, because national, national air, air travel does so well. It, 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 you know, you get much better service at much lower prices. Um, wow, you know, where do you live? Um, national airlines are the first ones to have gone bankrupt at any crisis. Uh, most of the national airlines during COVID went bankrupt. Uh, most of the national airlines went bankrupt way before COVID. There's not a single national airline out there that can actually compete. Uh, uh, national airlines like Alitalia have all been sold, not because the government suddenly discovered free market capitalism, but because the airline went bankrupt and they couldn't afford to keep it. Uh, national airlines are, uh, um, you know, historically and uh, from every perspective, unbelievably inefficient and, and uh, badly run and uh, disasters. Uh, try flying Aeroflot. It's one of the few airlines in the world that I won't fly on, not because of ideological reasons, but because I don't trust them. Uh, I, I, those are the those are the you know it's it's a national airline of Russia, and I, I'm afraid that it'll fall out of the sky. Um, and uh, or go back to the days of the, of of regulated airline flight in the United States, where you couldn't afford to fly; it was so expensive. Uh, so you were delayed three hours last night because of a flight. Now, I would argue that a lot of the delays you're seeing right now are caused by government. And, and the cause was the lockdowns. Um, the lockdowns, which basically made it almost impossible for any of us to fly even when we wanted to because of government mandates, uh, the restricted ability to move around, uh, were disastrous to airlines. Airlines fired a lot of people, laid off a lot of people because government wouldn't give them a clear uh, indication of when we'd get out of this. Now, they would have had a shrink anyway, but, uh, you know, governments then bailed out the airlines, gave them huge amounts of money. Um, and uh, so the combination of, of bad government signals, bad government planning, government mishandling this uh, COVID crisis completely from beginning to end resulted in the airlines uh, coming out of the crisis understaffed and uh, basically in where they where they can't cope with the now increase increase in um, in number of flights American Airlines is struggling as you know more than Delta and United right now to just keep up with the volume of flights now that we're quote allowed to fly again um, the nice thing about a national airline is they or they could just get the government to ban us from flying and they could match demand and supply perfectly just by government fiat, by telling us where we could fly, when we could fly, how much we were allowed to pay to fly, uh, you know, what vacations we were allowed to take and what not. I mean, it's, yeah, government, government airlines gives the government so much more control of our lives. And that's all we need right now is more government control of our lives. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show 
at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>